Good afternoon from Kathmandu. Today I'm actually leaving the city for the very first time since I arrived here. We are going on a little adventure to a place that is like 45 minutes outside of the town. I am very excited, very curious for that. And I'm looking for my taxi. Oh, I have a taxi already. Oh, I called a taxi already. 952. Let me see, maybe he's on the other side. Yes, I'm here. Ah, that's you. Ah, ah there he is. <laughs> yeah, yesterday I uh, spoke with him already and he said he can uh, bring me there and take me back later. Ah, hello, hello. Okay. Ah. Can I sit here? Yeah. I want to see the city. Oh, be careful with the door. Ah, namaste. Namaste, sir. Hello. Maybe you were confused and that's why I sent a taxi number also completely. Ah, the number is here. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see the number in the yeah. back. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Ah, okay. Um, uh, what is your name? My name is Gautam. Gautam? Uh, you didn't find me by WhatsApp? I have your number on WhatsApp, yeah, but uh, not your name. Name, okay, okay. Gautam? Yes, Gautam. Okay, nice to meet you. My first time uh, leaving Kathmandu. Okay. So I'm very excited. Oh, the traffic is not too bad at the moment. In this area is a little less traffic. In the other less side, traffic. so bad traffic. Yeah, okay. Here is less traffic. Okay, and then uh, you later yeah, you will yeah, take yeah, me back. Yeah, yeah, I right? want to show you parking. Uh, otherwise, uh, you have a you need uh, internet hotspot. No, I don't need. I don't need. Uh, you don't need. No, if no, you need I... it, you can take a hotspot. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But uh, you you wait and then later yeah, yeah, you bring yeah, me back. Yeah, when finish after sun sunset. Ah, okay, okay. We come back. Okay, very good. Yeah. yeah, negotiating the terms before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah, I would like to stay at the destination for sunset, which is in sunset is in uh, Maybe six. Maybe around six fifteen or what? Yeah. Time, uh, a little bit after I, six. I didn't see after six. Yeah, I don't know. So that's in like uh, two two and a half hours. You can do that. You, you will get there on the job fresh air, mm -hmm. not same like in the Catman. Catman. Oh, more fresh air. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that's good. Then all forest area, jungle. Uh huh. Also, is it uh, cold up there? No, 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 not, not cold. cold. For you, not cold. Okay, but yeah, I, I have a jacket with me in case it gets colder because yeah, we're going to the mountains actually. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Sometimes it's raining. That time is we need the jacket. Oh, Otherwise, raining. Need, okay. Uh, Oh, I just learned something very interesting from him about Nepal. Uh, today is a Sunday, so I was asking him if it will be busy there because yeah, it's no, a no, holiday, no, a no. Sunday. But uh, he told me that uh, Sunday is a working day in Nepal. So they have different uh, weekends here. So the weekend here is Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Uh, actually, there are some states in Malaysia as well that have the same system. If I remember correctly, it was on the east coast of Malaysia, some states that uh, have this system as well that uh, the weekend is Friday and Saturday and not as commonly known Saturday Sunday. Ah, so regular working day, okay. That maybe explains why we have traffic here now. What time is um, the traffic usually very bad? The, the rush bad hour from 3.30 to uh, 6, 6 p.m. Oh, okay. And uh, every people are going to back to the home, that's why uh, yeah. even 7.30 is less traffic. Okay, okay, so the, the usual rush yeah, hour time, yeah, I'd say. Yeah. Why is stopping this bus? Oh, this yeah. looks almost like a, like a highway. Ring road. Ring, Ring road? Ring road. Oh. oh, a lot of honking here. Ah, police here, stopping the bus. Oh, so now we are leaving Kathmandu. No, no, no. We said uh, we are now on the ring route. Oh, the this ring is route. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. 30, around 32 kilometers. Okay, I'll be back in one minute. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I want to make a quick stop to uh, buy something to drink, like a water or something. Um, hello, Namaste. Do you have small water? Uh, one of this. Only the big, big one. No small. Uh, okay, can I get uh, two? Okay. Maybe I uh, get one bottle for my driver as well. How much is it? About this 25. It's 50. 50. Mm, 50 rupees. Oh, I don't need a bag. That's okay, just like this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Okay, now I think I have enough water for the day. I bought one water for you. Oh, I have a little bit. Okay. Oh, now you, now you have two. <laughs> I think today is a good day for sunset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm really looking forward when to. When you reach on the top, then uh, good view you can see. Yeah. yeah the sunset, uh, I saw some pictures of the sunset here on Google Maps. It looked uh, absolutely amazing, so I'm really looking forward to that. So, you can see on just the top. parking over yeah, there. Yeah, just uh, you, you need to come to the up by this step up. You, you will be there? Yes. Okay, okay. I will be back after sunset. Yes. Okay. Then uh, done your butt. Done your butt, sir. And then Please uh, take uh, the water. Oh, the water is uh, too big for my bag. Can I, okay, can then I, good. I, I leave it here? Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay no problem. But my bag is so full already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay, and thank you very much. See you later. All right. We have arrived. And yeah, we are going to take the cable car to go yeah, really high on the mountain. I think he just told me, if I remember correct, uh, it's two and a half thousand meter above sea level up there and we already have a first beautiful view right here over the, the valley here Kathmandu and these are probably some outskirts of Kathmandu wow so I'm really looking forward to the views up there let's see I need a ticket here ticket counter one way both ways oh there's a different price nepalese then for chinese and for foreigners why is the category uh, separated between chinese and foreigners aren't chinese people also foreigners here foreigner price please oh, it's a two-way right two-way yes please would you like to pay with nepali currency or dollar i can pay with a card as well then i'll pay 1875 please okay all right, I got a return ticket now for 2,494, which uh, yeah, should be both ways, $22. Um, okay, let's check it out. I am very excited. It's my first time since a while that I am um, taking a cable car. Uh, is the entrance up here? I think so, but nobody here. Um, the last time I took a cable car was in Malaysia in 2020, Langkawi Island. Maybe some of my long-time viewers still remember that video. I think it was the steepest cable car in Southeast Asia. Hello. Can I go here? Doesn't look too busy here, which is good. So no, no waiting queues. Yeah, I just learned. I was expecting it to be busy because I thought today is a Sunday, so um, a day off for all the locals. But yeah, as we just learned, today is not a weekend here. This one here. All right, getting one just for myself. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I am not the best when it comes to heights. I'm not really scared of heights, but I'm also not super comfortable with heights. So yeah, let's see how uh, scary this actually is. Um, I think uh, I asked uh, him in the taxi. I think he said, oh, it's actually very fast. I think he said it's going to be like a 15 minute ride. And oh, maybe I can sit here so you can see the view. Uh, behind me, wow. Yeah, this is getting uh, pretty steep, I'd say. Oh, oh, actually, the view on the other side is even better. Check it out, guys. Oh, and this is just the first glimpse. I'm sure it will get better. Oh, also, it's very shaky, to be honest. Like if I move, I can move the... Oh, maybe I'm not going to uh, demonstrate that. Oh, the car is actually moving a lot. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera because my camera stabilizes the image uh, by itself. 
but it is actually quite shaky. The windows here are a little bit dusty, so the view is not 100% clear. I think it's a little bit better here. Oh, and the air gets really fresh here already. I like that. Okay, if you are afraid of heights, I would definitely recommend to not take this cable car. It is really steep here and really high. But yeah, the views are incredible already. Wow. I mean, yeah, this is what Nepal is famous for, right? Mountains, beautiful views. And uh, I'm planning to visit another mountain area uh, probably in a few days or next week. And actually down here you can see a little trail. So you're yeah, definitely possible to also hike up here. Well, yeah, this was like, well, yeah, I would say 10, 12 minutes. I must have. All right, let's explore around. I'm actually very hungry. I think I can get some food here. And let's see what else we can find. I see uh, cotton candy already. Okay, let's get a first uh, glimpse of the view here. Must be astonishing. The views during the ride were already incredible. So let's have a look. Ah yeah, so the sunset is going to be over there later on. I even see some uh, some houses down there. Okay, that was a nice uh, first impression. But I think it will get better because we can get uh, even higher actually. <laughs> ah, you can do a zip lining here. Highest zip line in Kathmandu at altitude of 2551 meter. So that's the elevation here, two and a half thousand meters high in the mountains. I see some uh, some counters here. I think they are selling food. Hello, Namaste. What food can I get here? Uh, there is milk. I know there is also counter. Ah, I pay over there, yeah. and then I come here to pick it up. What is this? This looks chicken good actually. Chicken noodle. Chicken noodle. This is momo. Ah, momo. Okay. Uh, is here. Oh, maybe the noodles. That's right there. Yeah. So I, I pay over there. Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, the noodles that he was cooking there, they actually looked quite good. So maybe I will go for the noodles. Ah yeah, we have a menu here. So we have uh, the momos, we have the uh, noodles, sausages, jerry, not sure what jerry is, and the chicken burger. Oh, I think I will go with uh, the noodles. Hi, Namaste. Uh, I would like to have the chicken noodles. One chicken noodles. And, and maybe one lassi. We don't have lassi. No lassi? Yes. Okay, then um, just uh, water. One chicken noodles. And one small water. Okay. 210. Chicken noodles. Chicken noodles. Chicken noodles. Spices. Is this a uh, sugar or salt? This is salt. Salt. Ah, okay. As usual, as in Asia in general, they can cook very fast. So the meal is literally done in a few minutes here. Yeah. Ah, that looks very good. Okay. Damn your butt. Uh, where can I get a fork? Ah, here. Ah, perfect. Okay. Thank you, you very much. Sauce? Sauce? Oh, what sauce do you have? Maybe a little bit? Yeah. Oh, you put it in the extra... Ah, okay. Uh, how do I go into... I, I will come to pick it up. So, one hand with the camera. So I don't have a free hand for the sauce. Um, oh, there was a sign, uh, view tower. Maybe we go in there after the meal. Let me place it here. 
And now I will uh, get the sauce. This is just a tomato sauce? Yes, sir. Yes? Okay. So nothing uh, too special, yeah. Regular ketchup, I think. Okay. I'm actually very hungry. I uh, skipped lunch today and now it's uh, 5 p.m. So the last time I had food was for breakfast. But I had decent breakfast. Okay. So let me show you the noodles a little bit more up close. I know many of you are foodies. You like to see how the food looks like. Looks like this. So I would say it's uh, there. Regular mixed noodles, some vegetables, the chicken inside, onions, carrots. Actually, uh, quite a big portion. It's falling apart here. Actually, pretty good noodles. Nothing too special, but also actually quite nice. Okay, my stomach is filled. That was actually quite a good meal. Now I want to get my uh, water. Oh, namaste. Mm, still have the voucher for the water. Hello, where can I get the water? One water? Mm. Oh, they're selling a popcorn here as well. Popcorn always reminds me about uh, going to the cinema. But I haven't been to the cinema for a while. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's once again quite a big bottle. Ah. <laughs> hello, hello. The problem with the big bottle is that it doesn't fit in my bag. Because I have my drone in my bag as well as a sweatshirt, or a hoodie actually, uh, in case it gets uh, colder up here. I just found a local guy who speaks German. Oh, okay, thank you. I said, Danja Bad, and he replied with, Dankeschön. Thank you, thank you, right? How come you know German? Um, actually, um, I'm a guide. Are oh, you a guide? I used to be. Yeah. Not anymore. I uh, used to take people in mountain. Also, as a guide, you, you learn a few took, words. Yeah, I have. Um, I, I, I used to lead uh, people from Germany, England, ah, yeah, okay. America. So, but I, I've been living now in the US for ah, last, US. last ah, I, years. I, I hear your American accent. It sounds a little bit uh, American. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We have been there too long. 22 years. 22 now. years? Oh, okay. So I, I'm also on vacation. Oh, so you're a tourist uh, in your own country. Yeah. Oh, that must feel uh, <laughs> nice as well. <laughs> nice meeting you. Enjoy your day. Thank okay. You. Okay. Um, so they have this um, tower here, which is advertised as a viewing tower over there, but uh, it's under construction at the moment. They're doing some construction work up there, so unfortunately I can't go up. But uh, this gentleman recommended another place, uh, which is actually uh, next to the food court where I just ate. Uh, and he said I can go up there as well to have a, a good view because you can see the view here at the moment is a little bit blocked by containers, by trees, construction noises in the background. <laughs> so let's see if we can find this other viewing platform. Also guys, the air here is amazing. Oh, just to breathe here, it's clean, fresh air. Really a big difference uh, compared to the big city. So if you need an escape from the, yeah, from the from the air quality in the city, or the hustle and bustle of the city, this is a great place to come. And yeah, it was now here yeah, like a 45 minute taxi ride to get up here. And uh, I will tell you by the way the price of the taxi ride uh, at the end of the video, because yeah, he's also waiting for me, and will take me back later. That's actually also nice uh, for families here, I think little playground here some more over there you can do zip lining I saw a sign for horse riding as well so I think for families there's actually a lot to do here oh yes I make YouTube videos you want to say hello to YouTube hello. 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 Namaste. Namaste. are you from Kathmandu yes ah, so also tourist here local yeah. tourist yes yes oh, okay enjoy your day bye bye <laughs> So yeah, people from Kathmandu, they also like to come here, escape the city. Can abroad. Can abroad. Can abroad. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. Germany. Yes. Okay. And uh, it's my third day in Nepal today. Third day in Nepal. Yeah, I just arrived here a few days ago. Hi. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. 
Oh, you want to take over my channel? Yeah. Oh, it's your channel now? Yeah. We'll take no over your channel. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, we're from Nepal. We're yeah. from Nepal and actually we live in London. In London? Yeah. Oh. From London, okay. Yeah. So you are now also a tourist like in your own country? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> actually, actually, she's a tourist. <laughs> oh, okay. This one was the first, first time. Ah, she, she is uh, your My child? Daughter, yeah. Oh, but she was born in England? England, yeah. Oh, okay. They're both born in England. Ah, so showing them the home country now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's They're nice. A lot. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. How long are you staying here? Uh, four more days. Yeah, four more days? Then after London. Back to London? Yeah. Oh, will you miss Nepal? We do, we do, of yeah. course, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Oh, enjoy your holiday here. Yeah, thank you, you oh, too. Thank you, thank bye. you. Nice to meet you. Ah, oh, Daniel Watt. Daniel Watt. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Oh. Actually, um, I get the question a lot. Do I miss my home country? Do I plan to return home? And the answer to that is actually no. I don't miss Germany a lot. Of course, I'm missing family and friends. But uh, I'm traveling around Asia for three and a half years now. <coughs> oh, excuse me, my voice. <laughs> What's happening to my voice? Um, yeah, I'm traveling around Asia for three and a half years now and uh, I couldn't be happier. I don't miss Germany. I don't miss living in Germany. But um, yeah, maybe you remember like around a year ago, I actually been home to Germany for a three week vacation. Also have some videos about my time in Germany on my channel. If you're interested to, uh, to see my home village in Germany. But uh, anyway, okay, we have a little temple here maybe and ah this is the ah okay this is where i arrived we have the zip line here and then the temple here and then the food court here okay the place is called balash bara maharev yeah religious places always uh, we need to be respectful so I'm going to be a little bit more quiet now for this section of the video. Huh. Looks interesting, right? Also beautiful now with the with the sun next to it. Okay. I think you can actually see Mount Everest from here. The highest mountain in the world. But uh, not today, I think. It is a little bit foggy or dusty. Maybe it's also smog, I'm not sure. And actually, I think down there, uh, this is Kathmandu. So in theory, you have a view over the whole city of Kathmandu here. But uh, yeah, not today, I think. Can you normally see Mount Everest from here? Uh, if the weather is clear, we can see from here, but now it's impossible. Yeah, now it's, it's, uh, it's impossible. So where are you from? I'm from Germany. Germany. Yeah. So how long in the boat? Uh, three, four days. Four days more. Anyway, namaste. Namaste. Oh, I don't want to ruin the photo. Yeah, we'll <laughs> you can take the photo first. And then I'll no I just want to have a look you over there. Oh, I come with you on the photo? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, Where are you from? Nepal. From Nepal? Nepal. Oh, okay, okay. This is our village. No, look here. Oh, shaking hands. Nepali German friendship. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from German? I'm from Germany, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Danke. <laughs> ah, so here the view is actually a little bit better here. Uh, down to uh, Kathmandu. Kathmandu, right? Yeah. Yeah. Skyholder. Kathmandu, yeah. Delhi. Are you from Kathmandu? Yes. Yeah, we, yeah. we are village here. Oh, okay. So this is not a full Kathmandu. This is a small village, but because there is a big. Ah, so there's more yeah. over there, right? More, more than. Ah, Kathmandu is actually very large, right? Yeah. It's like stretched, stretched a lot. More than 40 million. 40, not a. Uh, Four million people. Four million people in the whole yeah. area, right? Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> what is he doing with his hands? I <laughs> smally. <laughs> <laughs> you want a picture as well? Picture. Oh. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Your wife? No, my wife. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is this uh, picture here? Yeah. What is this? Uh, what is the meaning? Yeah. You know this language? This is a. Uh, Maybe 500 years ago. Ah, okay, okay. This is uh, Chandragiri. 
Chanda Deli, okay. Uh, he's coming from Goroka. He mm -hmm. captured this Kathmandu Valley. Ah, these are the person that captured yeah, the valley here. Is, uh, ah, okay. Pretty much, and he will come and he captured this Kathmandu Valley. Okay, okay. So 500 years ago, yeah, this valley was captured. Six, 600. Ago. 600, okay. Okay, nice to meet you. Hey, hey. Oh. Thank you. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> you let's see us here. Ah, yeah, the German Nepali friendship picture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> okay, have a good day. Okay, okay. Bye bye, bye bye. Okay. <laughs> yeah, always uh, lovely to meet uh, the locals here in Nepal. So far, I'm very impressed, very happy uh, to meet all these people. They're always so uh, friendly, open towards me, curious, happy, smiling. So, so far my impressions here of the locals are, are amazing. I think it's time that I'm finding a place to watch the sunset, which uh, is in less than an hour. So, uh, so far I haven't seen a spot where the sun is clearly visible. Um, so the sunset is going to be over there. So there must be a spot somewhere over here. Um, let's see if we can actually go up here. Excuse me, can I go up here? So the off side, uh, the off side is already closer. Closed. Yeah. Oh, where can I, where can I see the sunset? So you can see it from back side. On the back side. Yeah. So I walk around. Yeah, you can go from here also, and you can go from here. Also. Oh, I can go here. Yeah. Okay. Please. Thank you very much. Oh, it's already closed. How come? I would, uh, well, I would have thought that sunset time is the most popular time up here. But it seems like that's not the case. Also, I realize uh, it's getting really, um, what is the right word? Uncrowded, less busy. Um, so I'm wondering if we actually, if this is the best sunset view that we will get. Not really ideal, I'd say. Let me search for a sunset spot and then uh, see you then. Okay, some behind the scenes now for you. <laughs> I just try to uh, fly my drone. I have my drone with me. Um, of course, in a mountain area like this, drone shots would be amazing, but it's too windy to fly the drone. Uh, I just got a warning when I tried to uh, start the drone that it's uh, too windy to fly. Um, obviously, the drone is super, super light. I think it's 249 gram already. So uh, in case the wind gets heavy, the, the drone actually can be blown away by the, by the wind. So that's why I uh, get a warning on my phone. Uh, that it's too windy. Okay, so this side is not the side of the sunset, obviously, but uh, I actually decided to uh, walk back to the station of the cable car because yeah, there's not really a nice spot to, uh, to see the sunset here. So I'm hoping that down there at the cable car there's a better view. And you maybe notice I put on my my hoodie. Very glad that I brought it because yeah, it gets really uh, chilly up here now. I think from here we will be able to see a very beautiful sunset over the valley right here. Okay, I am back at the cable car station now and I think this is the spot that I will choose because yeah, it looks absolutely uh, amazing here. Come, we'll take one selfie. Oh, okay. Where in India are you from? Uh, Chennai. Uh, Ch Chennai. Yeah. Yes. Ah, in the south, right? Yeah, in yes. the south. Ah, close to Sri Lanka. Yes. <laughs> True, yeah. <laughs> so it looks uh, beautiful with the sun in the background. Yes, you have to come a little more left. For the sun, yeah. Ah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Ah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. How do you say thank you in, uh, in India? Thank Nandri. you, uh, Nandri. Nandri? Yeah. Ah, I learned that when I was in North Sri Lanka. Oh, oh so you, you speak Tamil? Tamil, yes. Ah, okay. Nandri. Uh, how was, um, uh, like, hello, welcome? Vanakam. Uh, Vanakam. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> Vanakam and Nandri, yeah. Yes. I remember from oh, Sri Lanka. you to Sri Lanka? Yeah, yeah, last year. Last year? Yeah, yeah. And I remember, like, in North, in Jaffna, uh -huh. they, they speak Tamil as well. Okay. And that was close to Chennai. That's yes, why yes, I. Yes, that's right. why I know it. Have you yeah. been to Colombo? Yeah, of course, of course. Okay. okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, no. Hi, you want to take a picture? <laughs> that's okay. How are you doing? Hahaha. Oh, you want a photo too? Okay, no problem. <laughs> How many pictures?
pictures that I take today already. <laughs> yeah, this is really an incredible uh, sunset to witness. Like watching the sun go down over the mountains here. That is really an incredible uh, moment. One of my favorite moments so far here in Nepal, definitely. That was uh, magical. And by now, I'm the only person left here. I don't know why nobody wanted to see the the, the grand final of the sunset. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm a little bit more relaxed now than I was on the way up. And also, from this view here, I don't see uh, see how steep it goes, you know? You see from here, I can't really see how deep it goes. You wanna have a look? Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's see if my uh, taxi driver is still there, but uh, I'm pretty sure he will. Uh, I haven't paid him yet, so he will definitely be there. But also, um, he made a really honest impression uh, to me. I will tell you at the end of the video why, and I will also tell you the, the price at the end. But first, let me find him and then head back to Kathmandu. Hello, hello. The sunset was very beautiful. Beautiful? Yeah. And the cable car is a little bit scary. Oh, it's very <laughs> electricity problem. It's very, very high and steep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was worth it. Very beautiful view up there. Okay. All right. Okay, so I guess the, the way back will be a little bit faster because uh, it's after rush hour traffic time now. at your hotel yeah. okay done your butt thank, thank you very much you. that was a really nice trip so mm -hmm. what else do you need taxi yeah if Just i need a taxi a, again be, be, then uh, before half, half an hour okay yeah okay Just no problem yeah okay uh, we said three thousand right yeah okay here's four thousand are you happy yes i'm very happy tips? okay that's very nice then thank you very much you it was a nice day okay Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hello. How are you, sir? I am very good. <laughs> yeah, I make a little movie. Oh, yeah, my water, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. You your Enjoy your evening. Bye bye. All right. Okay. Namaste. Thank you very much. All right, and I am back at the hotel which I showed you in uh, my first video when I arrived here. And yeah, what I wanted to say now is oh yeah, something important. Um, I think he's a very honest guy because uh, he was asking for 3,000, uh, which included going there, waiting for me, and returning. And earlier I checked the price on uh, one of the taxi apps here and the uh, price there was 1,250 for one way. So two ways would have been two and a half thousand. That means he only charged uh, 500 extra for his waiting time. So I think that's a very fair and honest price. And yeah, if you haven't seen my first impressions video from Kathmandu where we explored around this interesting city, check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.